Hello and welcome into another movie commentary Saturday, where I make movie commentary videos every single Saturday. No exceptions. Last week I decided to do Mean Girls 2 because I did Mean Girls the original the week before. However, in last week's video, I said this. This week I had planned on doing three movies, a trilogy. I'm not gonna tell you what the movies were, but it rhymes with my pool shoesical. Sh my schmoo schmoosical. Today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch something that rhymes with schmai schmoo schmusical, aka Riverdale. That rhymes, right? Schmai schmoo schmusical, Riverdale? Close enough. No, I'll be doing High School Musical sometime in the next few weeks. I didn't mean to imply that it was gonna be coming this week. However, today, the 10th that I'm recording this, season three of Riverdale kicks off. Now, me, I like to wait until the show you know, builds up a number of episodes and then I binge the shit out of it. This one a week thing, it just doesn't work for me anymore. I gotta allow at least a couple of seasons to pass. And by the time it takes me to catch up through this first two seasons, hopefully most of the third season will be out. I've wanted to watch Riverdale for a while now, but I wanted to wait until there was enough content where I can just be a lazy piece of trash and just watch all day. Also, this video, I'm partnering with Amino. I've partnered with Amino before. If you are in any fandoms, if you like anything, go to Amino. Amino's a place for fans, whether it's movies, music, TV shows, Amino's got it all. You can chat with people, you can look at artwork, you can take quizzes, and since season 3's first episode came out by the time you're watching this, there's gonna be a lot of people talking about the new season. But they got fanfics. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ow. I kind of want to read this. <laughs> I shouldn't read it right now because I think it's gonna give me spoilers. If you guys find any good Riverdale memes on Amino, post them to my wall. If you have any good memes, any cool photos, any cool theories, I'll be responding to some of the people that post cool stuff to my wall. There's 139 people here right now. Let's see what they're all doing. 69 of them are chatting. What are they chatting about? Riverdale roleplay? Ooh, kinky. There's also blogs here you can read about what other people are thinking about the new season and about the show in general. So if you're a fan of the show, head over to Amino and join that Amino and then start posting stuff to my wall so I can get into the fandom as well. I'll leave a link in the description box and then also in the comment section. I'll, I'll pin it to the top so that you can just click on that and then head over to Amino, join, sign up. It's free and then you can also be around other people that enjoy Riverdale. All right, man, let's get to it. Riverdale. I was gonna do a binge, like, uh, kind of like I did with Harry Potter a long time ago, where I just watched the entire thing. However, I kind of like the new style, where I hate how I said style there. Style. I'm sorry, my douchebaggery is unintentional. Instead, I'm gonna just do the pilot, give my thoughts on that, and if I like the episode, then I'm gonna watch the whole series on my own, and if I like it enough, I'll make a video essay about the whole season. I've seen those kind of videos on YouTube and I kind of enjoy watching them too. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm down to give it a shot, to give it a whirl, to give it a spin, you know? Our story is about a town, a small town. Named Riverdale. This is kind of ominous. Is this all over the world. like scary? Comic store. Oh, isn't this based on a comic? The closer though. Twilight. We start seeing the shadows. Is this a crossover? The name of our town is Riverdale. No, you don't say. Oh my god. Oh my god, is this Twilight? Why are you wearing heels in the woods? That's a poor choice. Just after dawn, Jason and Cheryl Blossom drove out to Sweetwater River for an early morning boat ride. Wait, I'm sorry, are they siblings? Who holds Sweetwater hands River like that with their sibling? Boat ride. Are you scared, Jason? <laughs> I feel like that dude is dying. Oh my god, he's dead. Did he die? Riverdale police dragged Sweetwater River for Jason's body, but never found it. Oh, he's coming back as a zombie. No, as a vampire. Oh, crossover. Oh, there's one of the Sprouses. So a week later. Now brace yourself. The apartment's small. Don't tell me this is a small apartment. Get. I'd like to introduce you to my daughter, Veronica. Hey, Veron. It's a pleasure, Veron. Hi. I don't know why I'm nicknaming her already. I like her, though. She's rich, but she seems humble. What is a chocolate shop and why does it sell burgers? Oh, she doesn't even know what rich people shit is. Good job, I like her. She's rich, but she doesn't even know it. <laughs> what is this caviar? Never heard of it. Yo, I'm enjoying this a lot so far. Game changer. Archie got hot. He's got abs now. Pouring concrete every day, all day long. That's how he got ripped. To pass time, I 
did set up. Start composing these poems in my head, and at night I'd go. Oh wait, he's a ripped poet. What the fuck? Oh, they weren't poems. They were song lyrics. Oh yeah, he's a douchey writer. <laughs> Songwriter. <laughs> About my life and what I should be trying. <laughs> She's like, mm-hmm. You're a douche. Okay. Been thinking about us, Archie. Are they not dating already? Oh hey, it's the humble rich girl. Kind of looks like a witch. Who wears that? What is she wearing? I'm breakfast at Tiffany's, but this place is strictly in cold blood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Archie, what are you doing? Betty's hot. Damn it, Archie. Get on Betty. Mom. God, I like Betty. So much. I like Betty's mom, too. I just don't want you see her? I mean, just think of your poor sister. Mmm, Betty's mom. She was such a shining star before she left. <laughs> Stay focused. Small oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that. What was that? My phone started ringing. That was the horn sound. <laughs> I have a weird. I hate all the all the ringtones, so I chose that one. What is this? Seems you forgot what to did she give prescription. her? Prescription. It was Adderall, dextroamphetamine. Okay. Oh, the song lyrics. <laughs> you are ready for football. Ooh! I'm not. That's Zach from Thirteen Reasons Why. He's here too. And you, dude, you got ripped. Dude, you're a beast. Look at this arm. It's Diesel. How much you benching? Like two twenty, twenty five. You gotta give him some. <laughs> He felt that dude up. Hey, oh, you're so strong and muscly now. Oh, I'm not kidding you, dude. You got ribs. Dude, you're a beast. Look at this arm. It's diesel. <laughs> Zach, calm down. Gotta give me some tips, man. Romanian deadlifts, right? Yeah, he wants the tip. Totally did it, bro. He totally did it. <laughs> I like him here, too. Oh, God, I love this dude. The red-headed Ansel Elgort. I've had every flavor of boy but orange. Actually, to clarify. <laughs> they, they're Ready making on. so many ginger jokes. What the hell's going on here? Are they acceptable? I don't know. I've always held back from making jokes about redheads because I don't know how sensitive that topic is. And I've had some bangers. I've had some good jokes. I might unleash them. I might unleash if I got him. Apparently it's okay in this world. Literally every joke is a ginger joke. Every 30 seconds, there's something about his ginger hair. Many of you were lucky enough to have known my brother personally. I loved my brother. He was and always will be my soulmate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, your soulmate? Some weird stuff going on here, man. I don't like it. They're twins. They were holding hands. They're soulmates. I I don't know. Thank you all. Ooh, is he having an affair with the teacher? Oh, kinky. Miss Grundy? Hey. Archie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What Her name's Miss Grundy? <laughs> like Solomon Grundy? Who wants to bang a chick named Miss Grundy? <laughs> he's got Betty, he's got the teacher, he's got this new girl. Man, Archie been busy. We've been dating for a little while. Ooh. Well, at least until I chose the rich kid. And now we're... It's the move. It's the move. I always choose the rich person. We split up. We're civil. How about you? She single. He single. Wonder what's gonna happen here. <laughs> Former lovers. She chose the rich guy. They're gonna have a passionate affair. Except it's gonna be awkward if Archie gets with her daughter. I want to be with... I thought we were gonna have to pretend to like it, but it's actually really good. Wait, that was you singing. It's rough. No, it's great. Mm, it's incredible, it's actually. It'll... It, mm, that's rough. What the fuck is up with this girl? She killed her brother, didn't she? Is cheerleading still a thing? Is being the gay best friend still a thing? Oh, <laughs> did they just call out their own stereotype? That's perfect. But Betty's already got so much on her plate right now. Why does she judgmentally look at her plate? She's eating a salad and a muffin and water. It's not like she's fat. I'd love to be a cheerleader. It would look great on my college applications, but... Would it? Last year when I tried out, Cheryl said I was too fat. Two season five. Oh, wow, they really went for the fat thing. She's eating a salad. You're a total smoke show now. I mean it. We heard what we heard, and afterwards, we didn't do anything. <gasps> we didn't say anything. They heard something. Fireworks. <laughs> I was lighting fireworks at six in the morning. That is a gunshot. I think you should pursue your music, and out with me. Come on. Come on. Let me smash one more time. <laughs> Where's the heat? Where's the sizzle? 
Well, you haven't seen our big finish yet. They make out. <gasps> oh, oh my god, I was kidding. I will all oh, oh, oh. Faux lesbian kissing hasn't been taboo since 1994. <laughs> oh, hot. I can't even imagine what you and your family must be going through. Right. Can we get back to the girls making out? <laughs> I know what you need, Cheryl. Dick. You would rather people fear than like you. So you traffic in terror and intimidation. You're rich, so you've never been held accountable. Okay, this I don't like so much. This is a conversation that wouldn't actually ever happen. You wear on your head like a crown? It won't last. You wanted fire? Sorry, Cheryl, bombshell. My specialty's ice. Okay, I like that closing line. <laughs> What's up, coach? Here. This is Jason's number. It's yours now. You give him the dead kid's number? Why wouldn't you like retire the dead kid's? No, 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 no. They would like retire and then put like a decal on their on their helmets, like a little sticker on their helmets, the number nine in remembrance. They wouldn't give up his jersey after he tragically passed away to another redhead. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh, well, you got something better to do? Yeah, he's a fucking songwriter, bitch. Why are you being so? Nice. Cause she liked that kiss, right? She liked that kiss too much. Archie! You're so doing this. What? Slaying your dragons, Betty Cooper, oh, one by yes. one. Oh, yes! She's like a good friend. I thought they were gonna compete for Archie. Ah, oh, she's such a good friend. I knew I liked her humble rich bits. You wanted to come with both of us. Huh? What? Bitch! Totally unacceptable, yes. Archiekins. I'm so Archiekins? Yeah, okay. I like him as an actor. Yeah, this show is dope, man. I didn't know I was gonna enjoy it, but now it's super dope. What is that? The fuck? The music back on. Because guess what? I'm also going to the dance with Archie. <laughs> and Veronica. <laughs> you think so? I'm less attracted to you, Mom. Quit being a bitch. It's happening. I'm going. Betty. Betty's my main bitch. A spot of good news. The um, car service found and dropped off your missing bag. It's, it's gonna be stacks of cash. Yeah. Oh my god. Redhead playing music. Who are you, Ed Sheeran? Uh oh. Why don't you come work for the company, Sen? I, I wanna um, be a musician, Dad. That's it. We don't talk anymore. Like we used to do. You know these decisions that you're making now, son? They have consequences. They go on to form who you are and who you'll become. Whatever you decide, be confident enough in it that you don't have to lie. That's good advice, Dad. Own your decisions. They're gonna form you for the rest of your life. Wow. Good job, Dad. Can't we just liberate ourselves from the tired dichotomy of jock artist? What does your heart say? Music or football? Teacher. That's what it says. Teacher. His name may be Moose, but I describe a certain appendage of his as horse-like. Ew. Tonight, they're making an exception and debuting a cover of the song my parents claimed they were listening to the night Jason and I were conceived. Ew. Why would you want to listen to that? No, I don't want to hear this. My parents boned to this. I have this fantasy of us as a power couple. Is that so impossible to imagine? Oh. What? What? Bro, bro, give her an answer. No, it's the pilot episode. <laughs> we got a whole season. Seven minutes in heaven. Who wants to trist in the closet? Seven minutes in heaven? You're no, fucking high schoolers. Archie. Come on. No, they're not actually gonna make out. No, they totally are. No, no. Archie. No, they're gonna connect. Come on. Don't. They look like you and Betty were having fun at the dance. Oh, no. Definitely. She's jealous. We've been friends forever. She likes him. Did you have a boyfriend in New York? He's into her too. Come no. on. I have never felt whatever it is I'm supposed to feel with Betty. Oh, come on, bro. You're killing me here. They're gonna just be about to kiss and the door's gonna open. No, they're just gonna kiss. Ask me anything you want. Oh, no, no, no. no. Door opens. Door opens, right? Right? We right? Do this. Betty's gonna see it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Betty. My girl, Betty. Believe me, the last thing Betty wants is us tracking her down together. We messed up. 
How did you not realize that? You were in there for seven minutes. How do you fuck up that bad in seven minutes? Honey, what is it? Man, their eyebrows are intense. He was looking for the girl next door. Instead, he found me. Ooh, I like this narrative style. He's gonna like, kind of like narrate how the whole thing goes the whole season. Whatever happened, just talk to her. Yeah. Go a long way. He said, would have went a long way with me. Would have gone a long way with me. Oh, they got a history. Oh, they're not friends anymore, right? <laughs> what happened? Oh my God. Now I'm freaking out hard over this show. This is good. I'm asking you now, right now, if you love me, Archie. Of course I love you, Betty. As a friend, don't, don't, Archie. But I can't give you the answer you want. Ah, uh, no. Why? Because you're not hot enough, apparently. You are so perfect. Just not enough. I've Come never on. been good enough for you. You're gonna try that? I don't deserve you, Betty. Yeah, okay, Arch. Oh, murder, more murder stuff? For the record, I'm not gay. Oh, they're gonna stumble upon a... They're gonna stumble upon the body. Or is this a new body? Is that a bullet hole? That the world around us had changed. Maybe forever. The girl's gotta be the prime suspect. She lied. On Monday. Dude got shot in the head. <laughs> oh! Wow, this was good. Someone actually died, okay. That's sad. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna need Betty to get some action in season one. She's my girl and I need her to get pounded. I, why, why does that? What is? What am I doing? I need her to find someone that she loves. What if she falls in love with the brunette girl? I mean, they did make out. Archie's like this perfect character so far though. He plays football, he's a songwriter, he's like super ripped, and he's good with girls. Enough so that he can not only get his classmates, but then also the teachers, like the super hot teachers. Fuck you, Archie. Actually, one thing I want to say is they just, they played into stereotypes, but then they called out the stereotypes. Like the two girls making out. Like, I feel like show writers would put that in to be like, ooh, we're gonna be edgy. Two girls making out? Crazy. But then the girl's like, ah, uh, that hasn't been edgy since 1994. <laughs> and then also the gay best friend cliche character. Like, like, call it out. You can do it, but at least poke fun at yourself for doing it. Now I have to continue on. Let me know if you guys want to see a, another video on Riverdale. I think what I would do is just watch the whole season and then do like a video essay. Like a 15 minute video just kind of recapping everything and just giving my thoughts and everything. Next week I'll do High School Musical, I think. Right now that's my plan. I'm, I reserve the right to change that, but right now that's what I'm leaning towards doing. And then the week after there's a new show coming out on Netflix. It's called... God, I don't remember. Let me, let me look it up. Hold on. It's called The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. The team behind Riverdale takes on everyone's favorite teen witch. Okay, so it's the same team that did Riverdale. That's gotta be a good sign. But what do you mean by everyone's favorite teen witch? Oh, is this some, is this associated with Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Is this a reboot? What is happening? I hope you guys enjoyed this movie commentary Saturday. Here is last week's that I posted on Saturday for sure. And then on the bottom is another video I enjoyed doing. And a video that I'm going to do more of, that kind of style, so. You should watch it. Just get yourself acquainted with that style. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.